only section of the roundhouse that still has a roof on it. I would say this would be number one is to protect this. You can see one hole there. You can see the light coming in. Oh, there's a couple more. I didn't see those before, but that's what's going to cause this whole thing to go down just like that. It happens real fast. Ed Carrington tried to save this place when he retired from Tribecker. He talked them into spending ten thousand dollars on putting a new roof on it, but it was roll roofing. So they only bought about ten years. That's what I saw one day, a little hole like that, and then you know, a month month or two later, six months later, you come and there's a big section gone, and then you know that, and then that presses the wall out. So it's pretty scary. You can see where the windows were. That's the original set up. They had the windows there, I guess, for more light, you know, in the 1850s. They had chimneys originally in here so the smoke could escape when the engines were in here. But they did a lot of big, heavy repairs up here, too, because they were so far from Springfield or Pittsfield. They, they had boiler makers and steam fitters. And one guy told me that they, you know, it, they didn't really want to let the engines cool down when they worked on them. So it took about eight hours to get the thing up to full pressure when you started a cold engine. So he told me they'd get it down to around 400 degrees and you would put on a, a suit made out of asbestos and climb in there and <laughs> do your work. Asbestos suit. Well, that's, that's OSHA's dream. Huh? <laughs> you can see all the black soot on the walls. All that coal smoke. It's been a tough place to breathe. <laughs> We're going through a lot of coal here. The engines really only came in here if they had to get work done or something. For the most part, they were out on the road. Each crew would probably do four runs, averaging four runs up and down between here and Washington a day in an eight-hour shift. So that was a lot of, a lot of miles, a lot of coal. There's probably 150 guys that worked here, three shifts and went around the clock with every train stopping to be pushed. That was a lot of trains. There was at least, probably at least five times as many trains 100 years ago, 75 years ago. Insulators on the wall there, that would be for the uh, power coming in, or maybe telegraph in here. See, there was one on almost every bay. It looked like the uh, green glass insulator, but I'm not 100% sure there's a lot of them in there. There's no even cross members for them on the beams. Yeah, it's kind of sad where this beam 